Hi everybody, Kinto here with more Star Citizen and yes, I have found the magnetic boots and I'm riding ships like a space cowboy. Look at this, you can ride ships with more than one player, this is awesome. Now you can do multi action with small one person ships. And here we are just two players. But you can be more, imagine that, an entire crew riding a small ship and getting to their destination together. Watch out to not move though, or you will be ejected and lost in space. And you don't want that, obviously. So imagine somebody at station carrier seeing an aurora approaching, thinking there is only one person in that ship, and when it lands, suddenly you see five or six players coming out, ready to take over the station. I'll show you how it works in a minute. Uh, honestly, it's the easiest thing in the world, so you won't have any problem to do it. Here is another thing about this, and it's the views you get and, and even the sounds. As you can see, I got in the middle of this dogfight, and even if the, if the pilot was not very good, honestly, it was great. Passing through explosions, but also lasers, missiles, and ships passing by so close to me. It felt really different as usual. I strongly recommend you find yourself a fighter and just enjoy the show. It works on most of ships, but I didn't succeed on the Hornet and the Vandal. Um, I guess uh, it's because the cockpit moves. Neither on the Connie, because it's too high and you can't walk on the cockpit, so uh, maybe it's possible on, uh, on another spot uh, of the ship, I, uh, I haven't tried. Uh, if you guys uh, succeed, uh, just let me know in the, in the comment section. So, I think it's time now to show you how to stick to the ships with these uh, sort of uh, magnetic boots because it's a glitch of the alpha version of course. Um, what you need to do is find a ship that is about to take off and uh, just get on top of it. Once you're on top, stand above the pilot and do an emote. Preferably an emote that doesn't stop by itself. You can sit, be at ease, or sleep also, and others. Unfortunately, it only works from landed ships because you have to be standing on the top of it to, to be able to do an emote, and of course, uh, in zero gravity, that doesn't work. And I think this trick is possible because, uh, because you can't get through another player. So now it takes off and voila! Now you go everywhere with that ship. For those who don't know, you open the chat box with F12, then you press enter to be able to write and you write slash and the emote you want to do and then press enter to do it. You can check all the emotes by pressing the interrogation point on the chat box, uh, but before, uh, enable the mouse with the left alt button plus spacebar, and do the same to disable of course. Actually, all the emotes works, and that's the funny part, you can change while the ship moves. But watch out, because some emotes are short, and if you don't change to another one in time, you will be ejected. Here's another example of what you can use it for, and it is simply to embush other players or to steal their ship. Uh, okay, I'm not very proud of it, but uh, anyway, it's an alpha, we, we have unlimited respawn of ships, no insurance problems, and some of you guys will decide to be outlaws, so I think you deserve some tips also. So right now, multi-crew, views, uh, and ambush other players are the way to use this trick I've thought about. Oh no, there's one more, um, space dancing. But there's probably uh, other ways to use it, and I'm pretty sure you, you guys will find it in no time. 
Oh, and by the way, as I was at the repair station, I tried to shoot one of those robots. And as you can see, it didn't work. But they do hurt you if you are on their way, little bastards. Well, that's it guys, enjoy this great trick, I'm sure you will have a lot of fun with it. Please leave a comment, and if you like the video, then press that cute little like button. And if you want to see more of these, don't hesitate to subscribe. Have fun out there, and see you next time.